Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, I'd like to show you a review for Raider Warlord Outfit. So let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so the very first time this outfit came to the Atomic Shop was on June 8th. 2021 and the original price for it was 700 atoms so once you've acquired this outfit you will get the actual torso the full outfit and a helmet so once you've acquired it you will essentially need to use your armor workbench to craft uh, the outfits the uh, reason I'm mentioning that some people still think that once you buy something it ends up in your inventory it's not the case so if you want to get the helmet you'll need to navigate to the headerware uh, then you'll have a list of all the stuff that you already own but you will need to navigate to letter R until you find a uh, Raider Warlord helmet so that's the helmet right there uh, I do have issues with this helmet though and I'm gonna mention it in a bit uh, then uh, the outfits section same thing you go to letter R until you find your warlord and there we go it's actually like so scrabber but this one is way cooler. Alright so I have the entire outfit uh, equipped and I have a female mannequin standing right next to me so you'll be able to see how the outfit looks like on a male and a female character. Also I'm going to show you the backpack that I prefer uh, using with this specific outfit and as I've also made a few combos with some of with the parts of the war warlord uh, items. So I gotta tell you that the outfit itself looks really nice. I mean, it does look really OP, and I actually really like it. I like the shoulders, I like uh, man, I just like everything about it. The helmet is also cool, as I've mentioned when the first time came on the Atom Shock update video that uh, the helmet sort of reminds me of um, like a samurai helmet, and I'm a big fan of the samurai stuff. So yeah as you can see that's the outfit let me scroll down a little, I mean let me make one more spin so you can take a look at the outfit from all sides and I'll get into the helmet concerns I mean visually I love the helmet as well but it could have been better that's why I would rate this outfit maybe like 8 out of 10 <laughs> just because of those concerns so the helmet right the bad thing about the helmet is that you cannot use any other head wear. like you cannot use a bandana you cannot use a beard you cannot use a gas mask you cannot use gog goggles or glasses or whatever like with the case with uh, gladiator helmet which unfortunately I can't show it to you because I don't have it on Xbox I have it on PC but since I don't play on PC for a long time I don't have the game installed uh, the thing is with the uh, gladiator helmet even though it covers like the entire face you can say you could have still used a bandana you can still use the goggles and that gives us more customization options which uh, like Bethesda needs to understand that they should give us some outfits but with some more customization options uh, like it would be cool if I for instance was able to uh, put a gas mask this gas mask right here which is also Raider from the Raider content bundle onto this helmet I know it would clip through those sort of like caged wires over there but it'll still look good and uh, the goggles like wrapped around goggles you can find uh, you don't even I mean at the Sutton station the vendor is selling those one of my favorite goggles uh, also would look go good and it would like look inside the helmet but still I mean there's a lot of different combos I see uh, like adding to this right but we can because it does not allow so for example if I were want to put my mask on it removes the helmet if I wanted to put the Wastelander banded mask also removes the helmet and by the way this Wasteland uh, band or like the mask right would have been cool if it would be like inside the mask this helmet here it would be really nice don't you think so these customization options would be like a really big plus. Fortunately, we don't have that now. 
All right, but essentially the item is pretty cool. Uh, 700 atoms, I mean, I'm not the one to say that sometimes prices are high and so on, so everybody can decide on which is the best price for them. Uh, I decided to buy it straight off the bat so I can make a review for it, uh, but maybe I would actually recommend waiting for a discount for this outfit. But you can always get it if you really, really want it and you have the items for it, right? And uh, here are a couple of uh, outfit combos that I did. So this is one of my favorite uh, outfits. And by the way, if you're watching this in uh, June 10th, uh, 2021, I have in mind that this outfit will make a return to the Atomic Shop on the 11th of June, 2021. So I would highly recommend to take a look at that one because it will come with a 30% discount and it will cost you 630 atoms and gotta tell you this alpha is one of my favorites whenever it first came to the atomic shop I actually didn't rate it with a high rating uh, but I really underestimated this uh, outfit and it's actually one of the coolest things uh, from all the outfits that I own so the trade the trader caravan outfit is a really cool one I mean caravan trader outfit so that's the first one then we got the Warlord outfit once again uh, linked with three uh, head awares. so that would be the Raider gas mask, Raider sort of bandana helmet and a Raider uh, eye patch like a metal one also pretty cool looking cool well you can put it up with a lot of different eye patches we have within this game uh, the next one is the Super Mutant outfit I mean, you gotta admit, that Super Mutant outfit looks cool. <laughs> uh, with the helmet, actually looks okay. Uh, and uh, one of the newest outfits also that came in 2021 was the Graham Employee outfit. They also have a really good helmet, by the way, in within this outfit. But it still looks cool with the Warlord, or with the Raider Warlord mask. So yeah, boo. Not bad. All right, and the back that I would recommend having actually two of them, uh, and they're both one of in my favorite list. So this one is also the Raider uh, skin. It can be acquired via actually the Atomic Shop because previously it was locked behind a paywall, so it was a Raider content bundle. So yeah, this one definitely looks good with the outfit, and I also like the Deep Cave as well with uh, this outfit as well. So if I put it here and the black shovel man works one of my favorites. So this is one of my favorites. The this deep cave is one of my favorites. So there's a lot of actually good backpacks, but I really also like this one. But essentially with the skull and everything and since it's uh, more of like raider themed, maybe the skull one would be better. Uh, but I'm going to try and think of maybe a better outfit combo with this. I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to manage anything better because I did play around. I do have a lot of different items and man, it takes time until you scroll through all those things, man. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I would definitely recommend having this uh, outfit in your collection. Or if you like Raider theme, definitely that's something you might want to have. Cause, uh, one of the best outfits for the Raiders. So uh, that's where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say feel free to comment. The only thing that I ask of you is not to swear. And yeah, and people will be able to read your positive or negative feedback as long as you don't drop any F bombs over there. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future.